for lighting fixtures I created here three types of lighting fixtures I'm not going to continue from here but I will show you how to place the lighting fixture first this one I make it here to make it faster first we go to system then <coughs> lighting fixture or click this lighting fixture then once you click lighting fixture in this properties palette it will give you some choices of the lighting fixtures but if you don't like it from here one we have ceiling light type flat round the other one is recess like fluorescent type we have by and you need to be careful also the voltage is shown here the ampere 120 uh, 277 if you need to choose little smaller 500 by 1200 that's 120 if you choose 120 everyone every light fixture give it the same amount 120 120 <coughs> now if you don't like any light for instance i'll choose this ceiling light 120 i'll click there then i'll place it into this ceiling so before you place to the ceiling sorry first make sure you are opening the ceiling plan here because the lighting fixtures are shown from the ceiling plan so we'll keep it in the ceiling we have here ground floor for floor plan and the other one is ceiling plan first go to uh, ceiling plan then go to lighting fixture this is the, the lighting okay let's say i chose this one so if you want to place it in this ceiling click here place on face because the vertical face is for wall mount type of lighting but place on face for the ceiling mount light so i'll click in here so that it will create our lighting fixture one <clears throat> second one if you don't like any lighting fixture from here you need to add another you need to load the family first so we go to system again click lighting fixture then load family so load family you know the procedure right uh, local disk c and so on so we go to library this is the one we go to libraries from libraries we go to us metric here from here press l lighting under lighting folder you choose NEP zone internal then from here you can choose whatever you like so from here press click and open it so it will go to our family <clears throat> second when you select this lighting you see i'll zoom in this is the difference between MEP light fixture and architectural MEP, uh, light fixture if you select the MEP lighting fixture here it will show you it's 120 voltage 64 VA voltage ampere and lighting dwelling unit it's mentioned already the calculation so it will go based on this loading to our panel if I go to edit type of this lighting you see it's mentioned here the ballast voltage is 120 if I change it from here 220 so it will implement into all these types of lighting fixture 220 i'll make it okay again look at it becomes 220 voltage if i select this lighting fixture also it will become same things 220 voltage so if you want to change it again edit type so we change this one 240 into 120 voltage so always this one we don't put it as per our you know what you fit <coughs> always we need to follow the schema uh, the specification so for this fluorescent type of light if it is 120 voltage we need to give it there so based on that it will go to the right panels <coughs> first second i'll delete this one the ones that i created so i added already multiple types of lighting one this is fluorescent type 300 by 1200 uh, the other one is rectangular I mean, type this one plain recess the third one is circular type three different types of light okay so if you see in ifc <coughs> it's mentioned that l1 this type of light is called l2 that one is l3 and so on different types so to create these things first let's segregate them here i'll select these all lights one two three four so under these comments over here i'll give it the lighting number type i'll give it l Sorry, I'll give it L1. This all <coughs> lights are looks si similar, so I'll give it this one L2. And the third one is this and this. 
comment i'll make it l3 now i give it name this one i should i should do it last but for now i just need to show you now <clears throat> how to create the lighting fixture i mean lighting system and switch system we i'll hide these things <clears throat> first we need to create switch system before we add it into power so we already have the electrical equipment our panel board is in here so we will connect all this light into this panel board but before that for lighting we need switch also we need to add switch controller so we need to add to add the switch first we go to device is it literally yeah we go to device then lighting switch click that so here we have m3 switch this is three gang switch okay so you know how to load it so i don't like to repeat it again i'll add here one switch another switch here beside the door most of the time they choose beside the door but for these two lights we don't need three gangs so that we can choose from here single pole i will add here and for this one beside the door I will choose for this maybe I don't have so anyhow we don't have two gun switch here sample I will choose three gun <coughs> here we go now for this one if you want to change the switch just select it and choose from here otherwise you can load new one so here I created it okay first this is what i'm going to do we have here three gang switch so three different switch we have so one switch will control two uh, light fixture the other one two the other one like that so these two two and the other three i'll make it into one connection and these two lighting fixture will connect to this and the other one okay now when you select the lighting fixture take a look here you remember when we create a power system it shows us only power right but here it shows us switch <coughs> and power together which means i'll select this switch also this switch needs power but this lighting fixture needs power and switch so to do that now to first we'll create switch system select all of them same like power one all the fixtures to make it fastest to work so we go to switch click switch and select switch here it shows us select switch this lighting fixtures will be connected with this switch select it then click outside first thing second <clears throat> again here also i will add it now the thing is i will select this switch and i will give it switch id over here switch id the use of switch ID is to identify which switch number is turning on to which lights. <clears throat> For instance, we have here three guns. So these three guns will control to this all lights. So if you need to know that this one, these two lights will be controlled by switch A. The other one will be controlled by switch B. This one will be controlled by switch C. We can make it that way. So to do this, first, first of all, I'll select the light and here in this switch id i will give it this one alphabet a this switch id is a this one i will make it i'll give it b and this we have three right so you can give it c d and e all in one so when you tag it manually you can add here c and d e now <coughs> I will hover my mouse to this switch. I already created switch system, right? So first I will select the light. Only one thing remaining, power. And here, only one thing remaining, power. So by selecting all of them, you can create power. Because all of them will go to one panel. Now, to, to see this switch to which lighting it's controlling, just hover your mouse to the switch. Over here, hover it. Then press tab once. Here it shows us this lighting uh, the switch is controlling to those lights 
but we cannot create like what we do in power the arc line and so on for switch system but for power we can do it i will create the power again <clears throat> all of them i'll select the light fixture and the switch itself because all of them needs uh, panel I mean power so all of them will go to one panel also i'll click this power it asks me to choose the panel name the panel one so from here i can choose chamfer or arc i'll choose chamfer so here we go one <clears throat> so from the panel see it's mentioned here it's coming here the panel from the panel it goes to these lights here it's clashing now this is not out so you can make it sh short thing the line so I mean just click in this dot and move it here like this so that to show that it's now connected with this now this one you see by default is creating or you can do it manually also you will delete and you can create the wires from here center to here or from here and if you need it from the panel the home run to go to the switch you can delete this one and you can delete this one maybe you don't like it you can make it manually from here to here you will connect and okay then again wire from this one it will go this way it's connecting so from here now all of them are connected the switch so from here if I click here and if I stop here the line it will show me the arrow because the only remaining is the home run so I will click here and press escape to show me the arrow which means this one it will go to the panel <coughs> I'll select the here I'll select the wire again edit type <coughs> excuse me Right. Again, for this light, so I'll select these two lights. First thing, I'll uh, create switch, and I'll choose select switch, and this one here it shows you. <coughs> and outside click space again, you won't see it. Hover your mouse to switch, press tab. This one is controlling for these two. So I'll create the power for all. Select these two, three. Click power. Okay, you can keep it as arc if you want. Here it comes. So here you don't need it this much to go. Just click from here to here. Press stop. Creates here. <coughs> so one is this one. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I'll select this one, two, and three. I'll connect first, I'll click switch, then I'll connect them here, then outside click. Again, the remaining one and two, I'll create switch system, again select switch, and again. The third one, I'll select these two lighting fixture and switch then choose uh, select switch choose it now to see which switch is controlling to which light you will see it here just tag i mean hover your mouse to this switch just press tab once one this switch is controlling for these two second second times again press tab from this switch also is controlling these two third times tag I didn't create this one. Ah, these three of them also. Press that. One, two, and so one is here. <coughs> and the second one is power remaining now. So for the power, all of them, we select them. Then select the switch together. Create power. So this is how it looks like. Just create jumper wire. So from here it goes to the panel. 
if you don't like this one the thick mark this thick mark is most of the time show we don't need it in Revit but it shows you for neutral earth phase neutral phase and ground or earth so that's indicating so if you select the wire it shows you here also what neutral is here ground or earth is here or the phase is here one 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 wire indicating if you want to add more if you have it just by pressing plus symbol you can add more by pressing minus symbol you can reduce the size so again if you want to remove the tick marks just select the wire and here you have tick mark calculated just make it off so that it will not disturb you just select all of them first right click first select one wire then right click select all instance same like select similar what we did in AutoCAD <coughs> then visible in view because this is our view else if you make it by project every floors will be selected so here by view <coughs> and remove from this tick mark make it off so the tick mark will be gone so this way we created it one switch system second one is the power system now let's check our panel schedule before we create it right we will check it here this is the panel schedule double click still not shown right i will delete this one and i will create new with it because we added more additional so to delete just right click and delete because now the power for power system and for lighting system all of them are together so <clears throat> you need to delete and to do it again so first to tag shortcut we have tg so let's see if this one is circuit number two and this one is circuit number five this one is four and yeah two four five where is one in the power system we created so to create the schedule again select the, the panel and create panel schedules use the default one okay here we go now it shows us this is circuit number one circuit number two is here it's empty circuit number three and circuit number four is empty circuit number five is empty rebalance loads this one is for reset calculator in the latest one in Revit 2017 also they have much I mean little templates additional advanced one here it will show you one two three four five six it will align it all so it will mix it all but here what it did it separate them all the lighting fixtures because we are in lighting systems shows you for the lighting schedules in power system also different power schedules again delete I'll go to power I'll select this one okay, panel schedule use default template you see here it gives us a gap for because receptacles receptacles all of them so if we balance it rebalance the load it will give us the new balance to balance it all the right systems Okay, <clears throat> to filter in this one, if you want to change the filter, those lighting fixture as per their type, we need to go to VV. First, this is controlled by view templates, I'll make it none. Or you can duplicate it also if you want to do another things for this. Yes, I'll duplicate it first. Duplicate, 
is detail I'll rename this one as filter so that I will change it here so it doesn't show up in the upper one so to create a filter by color wise for this one I need to give it same type of lights to give it different colors for different types also other color so we go to VV first view template I'll make it none so that easily we can control it go to VV here under filter yeah. <clears throat> before we do so here for this lighting fixture which we gave it lighting type in comments right comment we gave it L1 for this one also I put it under comments so it's more helpful to know that one for this filtering now I'll go to filter even in mechanical ducting or anything else we use this filtering like a layer to give it a color different colors if you want to remove you can remove it so this area is the place where you give the colors different colors so here by click adding you can add what the filter names that you created you can add it from here now from here we don't have any for electrical it's only mechanical for supply exhaust return so I don't need it I'll create first new here for electrical so this dialog box will appear filter name here I'll create new for lighting fixture now LTG which is lighting fixture one I'll copy this I will need it I'll give it the name light like fixture one okay so it will show up here now from here I will choose the category this lighting fixture uh, under this lighting fixture name what do you want to include you will check from this this one so under this one I will choose lighting fixtures and hide if you want to unhide and check the files you can first I'll check this this for instance and hide those are the ones that I selected so I don't want this one I will remove I will remove these two only lighting fixtures second okay under this lighting fixtures what do you want to give an order you'll give it here like limit comment if any lighting fixtures comment is equal to the comment in the comment I add L1 L2 L3 right the comment equal to L1 then change any colors so I give it L1 then I'll press OK I created one so I'll press I will click add here then I will choose this lighting fixture one because before we don't have right now it comes okay so from here I'll change the colors whatever you need now lines underline we have override colors first I'll choose the colors for the line always choose black because it will show us the boundary wait give it one or two as per your because the thickness of the line for the boundaries I gave it one pattern from here I'll give it solid then okay I chose black line color so pattern here for hatching the lighting fixture it will hatch it color from here I'll give it green okay so uh, pattern type solid or from here you can use hatch so I'll prefer solid fill okay now I'll press apply and then okay <clears throat> look the lighting fixture the ones that we, we created by filter is changed already the black boundary is here for the second lighting fixture I'll give it red color and the boundary also I'll make it red so you will see how it looks like again I'll go to VV filter then edit new now again instead of creating new and selecting from here you can easily duplicate this one and you will change only here the formula now to duplicate this we have two ways select this lighting fixture one right click and duplicate or here this symbol is for duplicating I will duplicate here and rename to rename I will rename here or in this area rename rename this on I need it for lighting fixture 2 so hide this here for lighting fixture okay if comment equals to L2 then I'll give it the order okay another I'll create new also for L3 I'll duplicate this one 
I'll rename it latent teacher 3 if comment is equal to L3 then I'll give it different color okay <clears throat> now to add just click add we have multiple things to add right instead of one by one just press control key in your keyboard select to latent picture 2 in 3 then press ok then here it comes so from here we will choose now latent texture I will give it a uh, pattern color red the boundary and the pattern make it solid all right underline here for the pattern the hatch I'll give it red color okay then the pattern from here solid fill okay the, the third one light and fixture 3 give it black most of the times that's preferable and make it solid okay and the pattern from here I will give it different color then press ok so I will apply and ok you see here now the boundary you can't see it is because it's black but here you can't see the boundary because we chose it red color so in case if you want to choose the boundary color go to the B filter then here uh, this red color change it into black okay okay apply okay so now you can see it properly bb <coughs> filter and check what will happen if i hide this visibility of the light fixture to hide so temporary you can hide it from here again bb you want to replace back just make it mark then apply okay bb filter again from here you see this this is the hatch right click this hatch and make it remove the visible and ok press ok <coughs> the color is disappeared for the time being so you can replace it back again by going to same place go to here you don't have to choose a color again just make it this visible mark ok so temporary hide it now it comes back To tag the lighting fixture, you can <coughs> tag it from here, remove the tag and this is what the circuit number, right? So it shows us here the circuit number. I don't want the circuit number to show me here. I need it, uh, the lighting type instead because you see here, I write it under comment l2 so instead of 7 i need to see it l2 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 so i'll go first edit family so before you change anything just duplicate it edit type duplicate lighting type i'll give it a name and text size i'll make it 2 press ok so edit label i'll remove this circuit number remove and add comment because those <coughs> text are inside the comment so when you add it to show you what's inside the comment what's written inside the comment press ok see now this is a sample comment this one no problem it will not affect our work just edit type remove this one sample value you can remove it from here or you can make it L only just for you only to see it here load override existing version now here it is if you want to remove the boundary over here just again go to edit family because this is a line just hover your mouse there press tab it will select all the similar lines which is joined lines I'll select it and delete load override here we go so it's in the center you can move it up because right click select all instance visible in view just select similar then move tools move it so from here choose any to the center still the same right move again from here to this one 
so that all the selected files are moved. Again, I'll tag here. See now, here it's coming L1, L1, L1. The other side also, it will give you here L3, L3. Just select them one by one, then move it. For here, same thing. Select them and move it here. And again, you can move it to the side. So we can create more things by adding comments or by adding share parameters. That one we will see in the next, next class. In the share parameter, now here, we only have comments. 